Hello everyone, welcome back to Piedra Designs. This week what I've got is a chunk of some English walnut and it has uh, some inclusions, some bark inclusions, a couple of cracks and this came from a limb, a huge limb that was trimmed off of a big tree and uh, along uh, where this was, this piece was actually cut out of, there was a bunch of other little branches uh, that were growing off. So I've gone ahead and I've got some CA glue put in that, uh, trying to stabilize this thing, make sure it doesn't come apart on us. Uh, I thought what I'd do is try to turn up a little salt cellar. <clears throat> We'll start off getting this thing rounded out and getting a tenon put on it so we can get it in the truck. Lathe speed's about 15.30. Looks like we probably are going to have to still do a little bit of filling in here. But that's looking pretty good for now. There we go. So I need to get get these cracks filled in. I'm probably just going to do uh, stay with the CA glue. Not going to add anything to them. I don't want to take anything away from the beautiful grain that's going on here with this uh, crotch piece of uh, English walnut. So let me get that filled in and we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to move on. All right, so we've got the super glue in that, in the, all those cracks and, and inclusions. It's had overnight to dry. Let's see if we can't get that cleaned up a little bit now.
Okay, time for some sanding. <laughs> Okay, that's sanded up through 320 now. Time for a little sanding sealer. This sanding sealer I use is just a store-bought shellac uh, cut down about 50% with denatured alcohol. We'll give that a little bit of time to dry, then we'll come back and hit it with the axe abrasive paste and the polishing paste. Okay, we can take care of that with a chisel and some sanding once we have the bottom parted off too. I want to go ahead and get this hollowed out now. We're going to call that good. Um, we do have some spots inside here that are going to need to be filled with CA glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get the sanding done. I'm going to make you guys watch all that again. And we'll come back when ready to put some sanding sealer 
and get that inside polished up. All right, we got those filled up with CA on the inside and cleaned back up. We're sanded up through 320. Time for the sanding sealer. And then after that, the Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish again. Alright, that's looking good now. Time to get this bottom parted off and then we can get the bottom of the box and the bottom of the lid sanded up and finished. And move on to attaching the lid. Okay, so our next step for this is getting the hole drilled through the lid and into the box that will hold the hinge pin. I've got this marked here. should be through the lid and marked into the box so I can take the lid off and get the hole in the box a little bit deeper and see there's our hole in the box we're just going to deepen that up a little bit more all right so the last little bit of this I've got a piece of 16th inch brass rod I've got just a little short chunk of it mounted up here in the Jacobs chuck just gonna peen over this end of it so we can make a head for this pin pivot just like that all right so we got her done here's our little salt cellar or I guess it could be a little keepsake box just because my original thought in making it was salt cellar doesn't mean that's what it has to be uh, this is a piece of English walnut uh, from a limb that was trimmed off of a tree and the particular spot where this piece of wood came from there was a whole bunch of other limbs uh, growing out in that spot and they kept getting trimmed off through the years uh, there's our lid with a little bit of just some minor detail in it give it some interest you can see the brass pin that we use for our hinge there's the inside of the box 
We kept the bottom good and round so that you don't lose salt in the corner of it. Here's our bottom all finished up. This thing came out at about two and three quarters in diameter. It's two inches tall. And I just, I can't get over how beautiful that English walnut is in that crotch piece or almost a, a man-made burl type piece just from the years of trimming back limbs in a certain spot. Anyways, that's the project for this week. If you liked the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Share it around on your social media. Leave me a comment. I respond to everything. From Piedra Designs, thanks for watching.